Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today we've got a little review out on the drive. Now, this one is really tested to the limit. Um, we've got some of the guys from the, the members group and they have brought me this to test and the, it's a Milo hard pole case. Now, if you ever wanna see what you can get in one of these hard cases, when I always go on about it and it says it's not just for top kits, this is really loaded out and you will see what they can actually get into them so the case itself is 140 quid and um, which is about the premium price around these kind of cases but you'll see why when you open it up and how much you can actually get inside so the case itself is 198 centimeters as we've tested with a tape measure so there's no uh, denying the length of it we've got a really robust click in handle that you can see there clicks into in together makes it super strong we'll come up close and do a little pan through like we always do we've got really really strong reinforced zips with the neoprene around it sealed to make it nice and watertight um, obviously the outside is a rock solid hard shell you can't press it you can't push it in which is perfect for the amount of gear that's in here um, and at top you can see there's a strap as well adjustable little rubber just to go over your, over your shoulder most people are going to hold it by hand easy to, to slide in and out the car these can easily be taken off with carabiner clips so you can you don't have to have them on but it's an, an added extra there it goes across the zip so it can never cut fully open up if you've not zipped it properly by having these at either side like i said 140 quid if you're looking at the map the map's about 135 you've got your gurus around 100 quid the crest is around 80 quid but like i said this one is the premium sort of brand milo have been out for a long time and they do some really strong uh, bits of luggage and what we'll do is we'll open this up we'll see insanely what we've got crammed into this um and this just alliterates what i've been saying on the other ones where you don't have to just have top kits in it can be margin poles it can be marmor poles and it really does just give you a lot of versatility when you're taking your stuff to the bank and and obviously it's hard case so if you do drop it it's um it's going to be safe so let's get to that and then after that we'll do some panning shots and you'll be able to see what it looks like inside right guys so in front of me we have got the test i was on about now if i've ever picked one of these up and seen somebody get some stuff in here this is impressive i'll be honest so before you all go oh there's all these top kids are laying on top of each other it doesn't matter it, i swear to god it doesn't matter i've got tubes that are full of top kits and they rattle about in a tube they're never marked they've never broken nothing these as cost us so many they are compressed together and they don't move at all they've got two velcro straps here on both sides they've got a locator that sits on the bottom so you know it keeps all the butts and everything together you can see all the all the folded kits here you can see all the long one piece kits they fit in because they're usually about 180 centimeters um, and this being 198 centimeters as tested um, by uh, the old tape measure they fit in really perfectly and there's you know there's loads of space in there i mean there's 30 kits in here um which is a testament when you see what's in the other side so you flip this over which is a really clever idea and you stick your dolly butts in it's got a double zip so you can zip it halfway down you can grab your other zip zip it halfway down from either end whichever way you want to do meet them in the middle whatever you want to do um but you can see you can get the dolly button in there you could probably mm, you, yeah you're probably looking at only one in there if i'm honest but still you can still get a, a dolly butt in there which is great because if you for me i I have three dolly butts but i only pretty much use one which is the reversible between 11 and 13 meters and um, so you know it's it's great for that and, and i'd only i'd only take that one with it and, and to be honest if you're clever enough you could probably fit another one in there as well um the double strap on this side this is where it starts to get even more impressive so you've got the double strap again like you've got on the other side you've got a guider like you have on the other side um, but in here we've got a 16 meter pole which is three sections of a 16 meter pole and then you've also got your landing handle and you've got a margin pole here so my god it, as he as he crammed everything in here and it fits in and the good thing is when it's pushed together because this is flush and this is flush nothing moves so i know a lot of people uh, they don't like to touch kits together and you know they're worried that they're going to make a mark or whatever it doesn't it doesn't and especially if you packed it like this everything's compressed as long as you're gentle when you're putting stuff together and you, you make sure that everything's flat 
make sure everything's taped in and you make sure that when you put it together you do it sensibly you don't just you know sand on it then it's not nothing's going to break um, and we're not talking cheap gear in here we're talking uh, inter-elastic Daiwa kits and Daiwa air z poles you know it's not it's not cheap stuff in here so if, if it wasn't it wouldn't be putting it in like that it's simple as that if he cracked a couple of top kits he'd soon say right well i can't do that because that's that's not a sensible idea but obviously it doesn't break him because he uses it every day so you can see that you do fit a lot of gear in here and it fold, folds up nice and easy i'm not going to zip it up because i haven't fastened the thing um, but you can see on the bottom it's again that zip continued to nearly all the way into the middle so the good thing around this is sorry is we are on, on the old drive um but uh, the zips go right down to nearly the middle so it hinges and opens fully which is always good with these cases it for me I've, I've tested ones in the past when they don't fully open they are better when they open like this you can access everything you're less likely to try and bend anything out and break it um and it just is nice and easy you can see everything it's all laid out in front of you um, and when you've closed it up obviously it's the the diameter is, is small and easy to get into the car which is really important i mean that's why these hard cases are invented and for me i've tested most that are on the market now and this is definitely up there with all of them and to be honest i think this one's better personally than the new map one what's out and probably people are going oh god no but just having things like this in the middle where you can put uh, the dolly butts and it's just well it's just thought out by a fisherman is this this is th that's what it is it's thought out by somebody that fishes and somebody that has a lot of gear that needs to be transported around and that and that, and that shows so what i'll do we will flick it round we'll do a couple of a panning shots over the top uh, and with a voiceover as we always do um, and then we'll round it up right guys so we're gonna have a little uh, pan in and before i move on this is it won't work with every um fex or with every dolly butt but we've actually what he's got is is put all the fexes fit inside and the short falls and the parallel sections they all fit inside the one tube so he has actually got everything that is for the pole all within that one section that then fits in that internal um section there and you could actually put your short falls in there as well if you just want to put them separate but putting inside of the individual sections obviously makes it super strong um and not the chance of crushing them so like i said if you're bothered about sacking them onto the top of each other you just need to get over it because there's nothing here that's it's going to get crushed this is why you but you, you strap it down with the straps and you know this is why you've got an hard case isn't it unless you are insane and you throw it into your car and throw it down the bank you, you're gonna have no problems and, and nobody's gonna do that if they've got probably the best part of four grand in or more in a bag um so you can see down the other side like i was saying it's all put in there landing handles and everything in the middle it, really clever and you can see that this is the one half of the interlocker um, and that's like thinner there with a the thicker rubber and obviously that fit into the other handle and with the other handle being sort of open like that and it sort of interlocks itself makes it super strong and the zips and that's what I was saying it lined on the inside of the zips um, no water's getting in there reinforced we'll flip it over um, and together and we'll do a close-up of that as well and you can see it in a bit more detail right guys so a nice close-in view and you can see a nice milo embossed on the front there and you got that solid strap that's clicked together really strong there and the, obviously the finger mark grips as well so you can grip it and a double neoprene lined zip as well rock solid let's get back to the end and uh, give it a sign off right guys so as the rain comes down on the very waterproof uh, melo case um you can see it absolutely fits tons of gear in and like i said at 198 centimeters it fits any pole any top kit that you're going to need to get in there um super strong super strong zips i love the double zip i love that it opens up i love the idea of crossing over the thread uh, there's two things for that putting it over your shoulder one if you want zipped properly it wouldn't open but not only that is when you're carrying it sometimes you have weight in different sides when you carry it across like that it stops it from turning around um and you know it just looks great nice in the black red it's going to go with if you're a tart like me it's going to go with most 
sets of luggage of what you've got whether it's guru daiwa um map whatever it, it, yeah it's got a red stripe but you know it, it fits the mold it fits a load of stuff in it keeps everything safe and you know 140 quid to keep four or five grand's worth of gear safe if you've got everything in it it's a no-brainer in it and um, you're only going to pay what 80 quid for a rod case or a rod bag anyway and if you wanted to you could sell that anyway um i'll keep it in mint condition and when you sold your pole boom there you go you've got a mint um case to put it back into so yeah really good bit of kit really appreciate the guys bringing it over for me uh, to test it's always good to to get different things out there so you can see and there's like i say we've got quite a few hard cases so do check them out on uh, the playlists uh, on on the angling for you youtube because you can see a comparison to what they are and what they've got to offer as well but for me at the moment this is probably one of the best ones that i've uh, reviewed uh, in regards to what you can get in, into it so if you uh, want to join us on the Facebook group, Angling For You, there's thousands of members on there, great set of people, run the members days, loads of information, and there's no silly questions on there. If you want to ask a question, just ask. Uh, if you want to just see the photos, come on, angling underscore for you at Instagram, and there's loads of photos of what we're doing, what we're testing, and uh, things that are going on within Angling For You. And uh, if you could like, share, and subscribe, that would be fantastic. And until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching, and tight lines.